One aspect of learning that cognitive scientists look into is how we remember surface versus deep features of information. So an example from my own research would be trying to remember a surface feature like in what year were welfare programs created in the United States. And a deep feature would be understanding why they were created, who they were created for, and what the purpose of welfare is. So there's lots of fun, interesting research on how does the relationship between surface and deep features affect how well we can learn and remember that information. So is it the case that if I know the year that welfare programs started, is that really going to help me better understand welfare programs in general? As opposed to perhaps a type of surface feature where I tell you what the basic purpose of welfare programs are, and then I ask you to predict what might happen if an author who feels that welfare programs are wasteful, how would you predict what that author would do if he or she became unemployed? So in understanding the basic purpose of welfare, can you then better understand, learn, and remember something deeper like how would someone react if they became unemployed? I've been interested in the relationship between surface features and deep features and how that plays into what we can learn and remember, especially over the long term. So in research I conducted with college students and sixth graders, I particularly wanted to see how the strategy of retrieval practice, bringing information to mind, affects surface and deep features, but especially that uh, relationship. So sometimes we think that we have to know surface features before we can learn deep features, and that we can't get to that deep understanding until we start with facts. And this was exactly what I wanted to look at. So as an example from the college students in my research, college students were reading passages about controversial topics. So um, whether or not we should vaccinate children, if welfare is more harmful than good, if we should provide support to countries in Africa. And in each of these passages, authors described a yes argument or a no argument. So yes, welfare is harmful, and then the other half of the chapter is no, welfare is not harmful. And with these really complex sort of meaty passages, what I did was I extracted some surface level understanding or features, things like when uh, welfare was enacted or what the purpose of welfare programs are, compared to deep features, for instance, the author who said that welfare is harmful, how would he or she react if they became unemployed? So does engaging in retrieval practice with those surface features, basic understanding of welfare programs, help college students remember and be able to predict what someone else is going to do? So when it came to surface level and deep features, I wanted to know whether or not college students had to engage in sort of surface level retrieval practice to benefit their learning of deep level uh, understanding. Or vice versa, what if students engage in complex retrieval, thinking about bringing information to mind about what they were reading, does that help them remember the surface features? And what I found across my experiments was that the best combination was when students engaged in a mix. So if students are practicing retrieval with both surface level conceptual fact-based questions or with more complex higher order questions, that combination helps them do much better on a final test.